So here we are, we're in the dye room. We have hot water in our container. You can get your water hot either through like, put it in the microwave for, you know, three, three and a half minutes. Um, you can also heat it in a kettle or a, you know, coffee pot that's clean and uh, then pour that into your container. So we've got hot water in here. It's not boiling, um, but it is definitely warm, okay? And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add our dye to it, okay? Um, when we're using good dye room manners, uh, we wanna get our dye from the container, okay? Uh, we wanna use a clean tool so we haven't like already stuck this in a different color, okay? And then we're going to put that into our water, okay? I'm gonna use quite a bit of dye so I get a really quick result for you. Okay, um, and then we want to put the lid back on the container. Okay, now if you listen closely, you can hear that sort of gritty sound. Okay, that's dye sitting in the, in the bottom of your container. You want to stir until it all dissolves. And there's salt. Also, I just got the same feel of like too much salt or too much sugar in your tea, right? Not salt in your tea, but you know what I mean. Um, you can feel that grittiness to it. You want to stir it until that sound is gone, okay? Um, because if we if we have those whole particles of dye in there, it's going to leave spots on our garment or our fabric or whatever it is we're doing, okay? So, and we're just doing this tiny little piece today um, so we can use a little bit of water. But obviously if we're wanting to dye, you know, 10 yards of fabric, we're gonna use a big dye vat to do that, like a 30 gallon, um, 50 gallon tank to do those things. But for this point, um, we're just gonna use a little bit of dye. Um, I wanted to show you, this is a really cool product. It's actually a multi-fiber fabric. So it's woven with different fibers and you can see um, how different fibers take the dye differently, okay? This color that we're using is a color called pearl gray. Um, it's a real pretty blue gray color. So you can see I'm wearing gloves. Um, you can use, you know, tongs. Um, keep your hands out of the dye, all right? So you can see I'm gonna put this up here, we'll rinse it in a minute, but you can see how different fibers take the dye differently. And that's always a really important thing to remember. Um, I can't reach the water. When you're trying to dye something, don't, don't assume that it's gonna turn out, you know, exactly the color on the bottle. Um, because depending on what the fiber content is, it, you can have a lot of different results. And you can see, it from very dark to almost, you know, very, very light, almost no result at all, okay? So that's one of the things you wanna keep in mind as you're doing dye things. All right, um, so with your project, you can take it, okay? And you can, if you're wearing shucker gloves like me, you can dip that project into your water and you can move it around in there so the water kind of flows through it you can leave it you can let it sit for a minute okay um you can let it sit for up to like five minutes would be fine depending on how tightly you've tied it or um done your tie things uh it's going to depend on what that outcome is okay and now i'm going to show you um an effect i think is kind of cool you may go mm, nope and that's fine um you can, not with a fork, you can, if you want, take, you've got extra dye. So if you want to go back in, again, um, you know what, like plastic spoons, like takeaway spoons, really great for these kind of things, dipping dye and stuff, okay? But you can take this, and I'm actually just sprinkling this on top. Again, this is something you might want to do, like, in the sink so you don't get screamed at, right? And I'm gonna let that just sit there for a minute, okay? And let that kind of soak into, the, remember before how I said like, you wanna stir it up so you don't get spots. Now I'm literally trying to make spots. Um, I'm trying to add some interesting texture 
to my project. Okay, so um, let it sit, do, 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 right? Let that soak in. And then you're gonna come back and you're gonna rinse it out again. When you rinse things that are dyed, okay, um, this is hot. We don't wanna immediately go to cold water. We wanna rinse it in warm first. Uh, if we immediately go to cold, it can shock the fibers, particularly if you have something like wool, um, and it can make it sort of shrink up and, and look bad, okay? So you notice I haven't unwrapped it yet, okay? I've still got the ties on it, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little rinse. Okay, and um, once that kind of runs clear, it's running pretty clear. Okay, then I can add a little cold. This is a great project if you have like a laundry sink in the basement or, you know, a tub that you can do this in. Like set your little container inside a tub in the backyard. Um, something like that, so you're not getting dye everywhere, because it does stain, kind of the whole point, right? So, um, then you can give it a little rinse, okay? And then you can go uh, rinse it several times until you get too cold, okay? And then we're going to come in, and we're going to cut, and you want to make sure you just cut your, your strings or your threads, you might need a seam ripper for it, right? And then... When you open it up, okay, you'll see what you've done. Now, this one, not very exciting, right, because it's a gray, just a gray on gray texture. If you've done like folding or stitching or something like that, you're going to get a lot more dramatic result, okay? But I just want to show you how to go through the steps. And then, so the last thing we're going to do here is we're going to give it another rinse, okay? And we just want to make sure that we get all of the dye out of it. Okay, because it's not cute if your mom's going to wear it to church on Mother's Day and, you know, her neck turns gray. All right. Okay, so once you've done that, you've got it all finished, and now you don't know what to do with it, right? Um, you can actually, you know, put on a couple clothespins on a hanger and just let it hang dry. And then once it's hung dry, um, once it's hung dry, then you can... Um, iron it with an iron. Um, it's silk. You know, don't get too, too high with the temperature, but um, you can just iron the silk dry or straight or flat or whatever. All right, so there you go. There's Dye Project.